Hi, I'm Matt Rubin, Application Engineer at Keysight Technologies. Today, I'm going to talk about performing EM Coast simulation using a parameterized ADS microstrip component. So the first step in the process is going to be to start a layout window. Call it my Emlyn. And I'm going to need to define the parameterized variable that will be assigned to the ADS Emlyn model. So I do that by going into the EM component parameters dialog. I'm going to give it a name. I think what I will do, since this is a short video, I will use one parameterized value, and that value will be for the width of the line. So I'll call it my width. I'm going to change it to the subnetwork type. This is the type that is used when you're parameterizing built-in components such as the Emlyn. Had I been using a layout primitive, then I would have used nominal perturbed, and that would be the subject of a future video. So with everything set, now I'm just going to set my default value, which will be 25 mils. I add it, and I'm ready for the next step. So now I will go ahead and place the microstrip line model, or the Emlyn. And I'm going to enter the parameterized variable that I just created. Hit apply just to make sure that it gets assigned. And OK. Just go ahead and place it. I will now go ahead and place pins on it. Pins are required for EM simulation. And now the next step is in preparation for the EM part of the EM coast simulation, I'm going to create an EM setup view, which I can do with, from this icon right here. We see that it's complaining that uh, I don't have a substrate, so I will go ahead and create one. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to use this default substrate. Go ahead and save it. And so now I'm all I'm all good to go with the with the EM setup. I'll go ahead and save that. So now the final steps in this part of the process is I'm going to need a EM model which will record the EM results. And also, it would be really nice to have a symbol in my schematic that's going to look like this. So that's simply accomplished by going to the EM menu, component, and create EM model and symbol. Yes, this is what I want to do. I'll go ahead and save it again. And now I'm ready to uh, set up for the parameterized EM COSIM. I'm going to open up a new schematic view, and this will be my top level circuit schematic. The EM COSIM simulation will be driven from the schematic. So the first step is I need to bring my EM model into the schematic view. And that's very easily accomplished by just dragging in the uh, symbol view. I'm going to need an S parameter test setup, and the quickest way to get that is to insert a template. So I'm just going to insert the S parameter template. I just rubber band this together, one of the quickest ways to wire a circuit up. And I'm going to go ahead for now, and I'm going to leave the default uh, 25 mils. So what we're going to see is I'll go ahead and simulate this, but it's going to go ahead and call the EM simulator to simulate my microstrip line. So let's go ahead and watch that. So I'm bringing up the job manager, and we can see now that the EM engine is running, and hence we're performing an EM co-simulation.
So the EM Co simulation is now finished. And at this point, we can start making things a little more interesting by actually uh, sweeping, say, the value of this width and looking at the results. So to do that, I'm just going to create a variable. It won't be too original. I will just call it width. And I'm going to start it at 10 mils. So I'll take out this constant value here and put in width. Now to sweep this width, I'm going to need a parameter sweeper. You'll notice I'm using the part search here, which makes it really easy to find uh, various items in ADS that you need. And so I'll just go ahead and fill this out on screen. First, I'll take my variable width. I have to add the instance ID, which is SP1. And what I think I will do is I will just go from 10 mils to 50 mils in 10 mil steps. So now I'm going to do a true parameterized EM co simulation and let's see what happens. So if we go ahead and look at the job manager, what we're going to now see is that I'm going to get an EM simulation for each width in my parameter sweep. So now you see I have my parameterized sweep here, the EM co simulation for all the, uh, the different values of my parameter width. The next thing I'd like to show is something really cool that you can do. As of now, if we go into the EM model, you can see that I have a database set up and I have all the various different widths here that were simulated. What I'd like to do now is I'm going to go ahead and turn off the parameter sweep and I want to do a Monte Carlo analysis. And to do that, like with the parameter sweep, I just have to put in the controller instance ID. And I'm not going to exactly do 250 iterations, so I'll just do 25. Now what I'll do is, for width, I'll go back to the, the, 20, the 25 mils. And what I'd like to do is I'm going to uh, make it a random variable for statistics. So I enable it. I'll just do a, a uniform distribution and say uh, a 10% variation. Now, these are 25 simulations, and we don't want to have 25 EM simulations performed. Now, because this value of 25 kind of lies in the middle of my sweep, instead of running the EM simulations, I can just go and use interpolation. And what will now happen is it's going to go ahead and it's going to interpolate in between these values. So I go ahead and I save my EM model. And now if I run my Monte Carlo, 25 iterations. You can now see I got some quick results. These results are from EM data that was interpolated. And 
it was all achieved very quickly. That concludes this video.